Yeah, it was great memories. Uh, to be fair, there seemed to be a feeling about we weren't they doing fantastic in the league, as you've probably seen that year. But the real buzz was the cup ties. And it started at home against Inverness Thistle. Uh, and we really struggled in that game and uh, we ended up, we won the game. And as you say, we went for their race rovers as well, got a narrow. But as, as the, we started to progress through the cup, uh, as you say, I was injured, but I was in every day and I was wired up with my jaw and I had a bad knee injury as well. But um, you could sense what the cup was, you could feel it. You know, even for the manager, Alec was always at the very first, I remember his first team talk at Inverness, although I was in there, I was sitting there and he says, we're playing this team today. You know, their ambitions is to beat St Myrne, but our ambitions is, and we are, we are capable of winning the Scottish Cup. And it was, I thought it was a great moment when Alec said that, and I, I believed that myself, because it's five games, really, when you think about it, to win a Scottish Cup. Uh, so, but it was a fantastic time about the club, and as I say, as we went through, as we progressed through, and it's true what they say, you always get a bit of luck, you always see when your name's written on the cup, I believe that now, I didn't know at first, I thought, nah, you, you do earn it, you've got to go out and play the games, but if you look through what happened through that cup uh, that year, it was incredible, you No, know, the first two race overs with Big Peter getting a winner, I think it was, and uh, Morton were in front of us, and they were right on top of us and we got a penalty and things like that, just wee things, deserved early the penalty, but wee things that changed games and uh, Hearts were with a lot of their major players in the semi-final, no taking them away from us again, but as I say, all these sort of things, uh, Dundee United had played a, I'm sorry if I'm taking this away from us, but it wasn't, we had to earn it, really earn it, but as I say, I was just trying to get across, when your name's on that cup, sometimes that journey, you get that bit of luck we've all need in life. So you, you mentioned there a little bit about how cup ties were always a buzz. Yeah. What was it like beating Morton at Capolo? Is, is winning a derby game in the cup always a wee bit more special? I think so. I think winning any derby game uh, against Morton is special. I've been brought up, uh, I've been here since I've been a young kid. And even through the Dalek Ferguson days, it was really drilled into you. Uh, one game we must win is the Morton game. And I suppose all in the world, everybody rivals the same in theirs, but I've always had that. And as you say, that year especially, as I say, away at Caplow, you know, they're leading and uh, the old Saints just came marching on and they just they got there and uh, fought through it incredibly. And it was a special... As I say, every victory against Morton special, but I think that, that year... Uh, it was good to beat them on the way to win the Scottish Cup. We also talked about before this, you were injured most of the yeah. season, but you managed to get back kind of to fitness in time for the final, you made the bench. What was it like for you personally to to have managed to get back just in time for the final? I mean, they talk about luck in life, they talk about dreams, and I mean, I always wanted, I always wanted to uh, be in a Scottish Cup final and be captain of St Mum to win it. Uh, a lot of the dreams came true. It ended up Billy on the day was captain, which was fantastic. Got great friend as well. But as you see, I was injured mostly. I never played in any cup ties. Uh, hardly played at all. And uh, it was a couple of weeks before. We were playing Rangers the last game before. Um, we, we went to Hamden two weeks later. And Alex Smith had a, a quick word with me. And he was saying, how are you feeling? And I never had played. And never, he says, listen, I'm going to give you a bit of the Rangers game and see how you cope, because you've been training hard and uh, and he knows I wasn't match fit, so there was no way I could play in the game. But he says, maybe we could get you on at some stage if you're needed or whatever. No, uh, to, I couldn't run anyway, but I, I, I wouldn't be able to run that day. So just maybe to go on the ball and slow things down. And uh, I got through the Rangers game, did all right actually, but I was completely exhausted. But it was enough to get me on the bench. Yeah, Alex said, right, OK, we'll, we'll get you on. And uh, it was just a dream, although the disappointment in no starting the game. But listen, there was guys there, I said to you, like Peter Godfrey, um, Paul Chalmers, guys like that who had uh, deserved it more than me, actually, to be honest, uh, to be sitting on that bench because... They'd scored goals, Paul against Morton and Big Peter against Wraith Rovers. Um, and here I'm, been out all the time, I'm sitting on the bench. 
and just a couple of minutes before we went into extra time, uh, we were, we were sort of, uh, you could see Dundee United were, were starting to, no, it was each peachy game, but they were starting to get into, they were attacking and Alex thought, right, OK, it's going to go into extra time. Uh, Tony got on and uh, got on the ball and see what you can do. And uh, So, uh, a couple of minutes before the, the end of normal time, it was about four minutes or five minutes or so, uh, I get on and I just felt great running on the park because when I run on it, the St Mum crowd was doing it on that side and it was it was an incredible feeling just getting on the park and your first touch of the ball and yeah, it was it was just unbelievable and uh, as I say when in the extra time Dundee and Haiti scored remember they'd sort of scored but it was offside and, and uh, just before Ian Ferguson scored Ian Cameron then came on as well. Um, and both is nearly, if you look back, I kind of I never scored many goals, but before Ian scored, I had a shot and I thought it was getting in. I actually, I looked and it just sailed over the bar and no more, and I thought, oh, what a dream that would have been. But just after that, uh, Brian Hampton played a great ball through and uh, Ian Ferguson, phew, he was a tremendous player uh, and Ian was capable of that and just what a finish it was. And then it was just a matter of then getting on the ball and trying to uh, slow the, the game down. Great Abercrombies and all that in the park. I mean, all these players. So, and uh, Frank McGarvey, of course, special player. Uh, so all, all these, and, and we did Kenny McDowell's. All the, Neil Cooper was man of the match, you know, and deservedly so. Throughout the, the whole tournament, he was brilliant. But in the cup final, him and David Winnie, Tom Wilson, and Hamilton, the boy Derek Hamilton, the back, but especially the two centre backs. But nearly just shaded it, and he was outstanding. Uh, but I always remember chasing Kenny Hope, <laughs> who was the referee at the time, the last five minutes of the cup final, and uh, I have a laugh about it now with Kenny. But I was, as I was um, chasing, I was saying, "I'm blow the whistle, Kenny." He's saying, "There's five minutes to go," and I'm saying, "Listen, come on, we need to win the cup. Some money to win." And I was pleading with him. I'm saying, "I've never won anything like this," and he's like, "It's Patrick, get away from me!" And I. I'd honestly followed him a bit for, come on, ref, that's time up. And uh, it was it, it was incredible. And see when he blew that final whistle, it was uh, it's just amazing. The place erupted. And it's a real, I'm shivering now even thinking about it, no emotional about it, a real, real special time for everybody. And even in your own life, no, because to come through that season and... Uh, and Billy hardly remembers this, but he did as we walked up. Uh, he says, come on, you got him get the cup and stuff like that. And I thought, what an incredible gesture uh, for Billy. And I went, no, no, you got So he went up. But the two years when we came down, we took a arm to each cup and we ran to the St Martin supporters together. Because we'd been at school together as well and uh, through all our, our lives, uh, me and Billy and uh, the other two is running with the, the Scottish Cup. No, incredible, incredible.